So hi everyone, I just want to do a quick video um, doing a demo of a pencil sharpener which I have heard a lot of people, or seen a lot of people chatting about on um, a Facebook group, a colour pencil group, um, saying how good it is for sharpening pastel pencils. So I was um, in Tesco earlier this week and I spotted one and I thought for £2, which is all it is, it, it might be worth trying. So um, I thought there'd be a few other people who might like to try um, a pencil sharpener that was good for sharpening pastel pencils. I have a couple of brands here, um, so I thought it might be nice to show you if it's worth getting. Um, this one is a zebra, um, a handsome zebra. Um, they do do um, a pink piggy one and an orange tiger one, and they also do a black and white panda one. Um, but this is the one I like the most. They didn't have the panda one in, but they did have the others in. Um, I didn't want to buy them all because you know there'd be other colored pencil artists that might might want want one for themselves. So um, anyway, so the principle it seems it looks the same as yeah, it's very similar in um, how you use it to the swordfish icon I use, which is just push the button and then turn the handle and it sharpens the pencil. So this one has, you bend the ear by the looks. And I have a Faber-Castell Pitt pencil here. So it's interesting to see how many of them fit. Okay, so you bend the ear before, which um, moves the, like, the teeth, um, and then you insert the pencil and then turn. Let's see how sharp it goes. Okay, we're not there yet. Amazing that you can get this for two quid, really, isn't it? Ooh, very nice. Very nice, don't you think? I could go a bit sharper, but I don't want to push my look. Right, if you consider how, when you get a brand new pit pencil, that's a brand new one unused, and this is one I've just sharpened. That's quite good, isn't it? Right, okay, so I'll we'll use a, um, there's a, um, what are they called? Um, Carothellos. Completely slipped my mind. Let's have a go of that then. And they fit fine with room spare. It's a noisy business, sharpening pencils. There we go. Wow, look at that. Fair dues. That is a pretty good job, don't you think? Yes, very impressed with that. Let's see what other colour pencils they it sharpens. So um, I, I have read some comments that doesn't sharpen thicker pencils. Now the Durant Light Fast is pretty thick, so let's have a go of that. It fits. Ooh. It doesn't seem to like that though, for some reason. Ooh. Not sure what's going on there. Maybe it thinks it's sharp enough. Hmm. Not sure what's going on there. Um, that's probably a little bit too... That's a polychromo and well, I mean that's done a really good job. This is a kid's pencil sharpener, two pounds. Bargain. I can see why some people have stocked up. <laughs> this is a Dermot drawing. It doesn't seem to like the thicker pencils, although it has taken a bit off that one. Um, let's try it with a Prismacolor. Yeah, it seems to work fine on the thinner cord pencils. Yeah, it has it has sharpened that one a bit. Yeah, so you get the idea, but primarily I wanted to show you how um, good it was for pastel pencils, and yes, yes, that's awesome, isn't it? Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please have a look at my other ones. <laughs> goodbye from the zebra, and goodbye from me. Bye.